Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general uh, love and life reading for Cancer. You could have Cancer. Ooh, you could have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Cancer, please keep in mind these readings are very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Everything subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Um, roles can be reversed. So. I don't really feel like I need to re-explain that roles can be reversed and, and, and it can be someone around you as well. Okay. So cancer, please know I have to give the messages as they are given to me from spirit. I am not here to uh, tell you what you want to hear or tell you what you think you want to hear so I can uh, make a buck off of you. Okay. I have to give the messages as they're given to me when lose or draw. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, if you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, my email is in the description box below. There will be an extended to this reading. Um, oh, about my personal readings. I do give $10 off uh, for first time clients who get their first reading with me. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, there will be an extended to this uh, reading that will be in the description box below as well as the comment section below um, if you are inclined to, um, you know, watch it. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Not this one. Okay. All right, they want me to use a different deck, okay? They want me to use this one and clarify it with, okay. All right, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's see. What messages do you have? What's going on for cancer in love and in life? What's going on for cancer? Show me cancer, please. Okay, so we have Anubis. Respect. I'm just going to show me. Okay, they want me to say, obviously the messages can be reversed, but they want me to look at you specifically first. Okay. Loyalty. And beauty, mermaid. Oh, there you are. Okay. They said one more. Okay. Show me cancer, please. Rest. This would be like scorpionic energy. This would be like Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This would also be like scorpionic energy. You have alchemy at the bottom of the deck. They want me to take it. Okay. All right. So here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying this is what you're doing, but maybe it is. Um, if it's not you, then maybe it's someone around you or maybe someone you know. Uh, they want you to rest on trying to, you're doing too much magic. You're doing too many manifestations. You're doing too much magic. You're doing too much, um, alchemy and alchemy is just an ancient form of chemistry is transforming, uh, one thing into another. Um, it's like the original magic, so to speak. Okay. They want you to rest on that. Because you, you're going to burn yourself completely out. Okay. Respect, loyalty, and beauty. Okay. So with with Anubis here, and it talks about respect. So it talks about respecting the dead. Okay. Okay. So if you talk to ancestors, you talk to spirit guides, you talk to this, you know, the, um, you know, any spirits or anything like that. They want you to res make sure that you, whatever you're doing, you're doing it with respect. Okay. That's number one. Then with loyalty here, there's a need for you to, um, okay. Uh, whatever deities or gods or whatever, I don't know what you believe in. Okay. Some of you might be Christian. I don't know. Um, Okay. They're not just loyal to one person. 
okay? So, you know what I'm saying? So, there's a need for you to, um, this is, I feel like this is kind of a specific message, but they want you to be careful, okay? Because too much magic will drain you, drain you and um, overwhelm you, okay? And it can take away from your, your actual physical beauty because it really does drain you. Actually, it can make you very dehydrated. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water. That's very important. Um, but, you know, there's a need for you to also respect other people's loyalty. There's a, you know, there's a need to respect other people's loyalty to you as well. Okay? There's beauty in that. And there's also beauty in you taking a rest. But you really need to rest on some of the alchemy here. Also, with the rest here, you need the hip, uh, it's called hypnos. You try to rest on, like, you need to rest, <laughs> period, across the board. I feel like you're overdoing something or you're doing something too much. You need to actually physically sleep. Like, you know, lounge, relax a little bit. Okay, but for some of you, not all of you, some of you need to rest or give it a rest a little bit on or maybe not do so much of either manifesting, like manifestations. Um, maybe if you're into spell work or maybe you're a practitioner of some kind, be, maybe you're doing it too much because you're like going to burn, you really can burn yourself out and then you won't be able to perform any form of magical works or um, practitioner, you know, whatever you believe in works, manifestations or whatever it is, candle med, I don't know what you do, but you may not be able to do it. If you, you could potentially very, very strong potential here, burn yourself out. Um, there's also two that um you got a storm coming and it's going to get you in your emotions with the water here too you will have to rest Okay. For others of you, if if that's not the case about magic or, or manifestations or anything like that, you're being asked to um, check your circle about loyalty and respect. Also, for some of you, there's a need for you to not require of people or deities or an well, I'm gonna say an well, ancestors, but um, oh, excuse me. There's a need for you to not request or demand blind loyalty from people. Also, with the rest here in alchemy, there's a major transformation that's trying to take place in your life. And I feel like you're you're trying to fight it. Or, or again, now this could be somebody else. This could be somebody else. Okay. Why is respect here, please, for cancer? Chalice, respect, request, and love. There's a need for you to respect love. Or there's a need for someone else to respect love. Or an offer of love. Or here, maybe maybe you need to offer respect to someone else. Or someone needs to respect you. Okay, why is loyalty here? You could be done with the earth sign that, that may not be as loyal as you think. Why is loyalty here? Also, with the sun, you can see the sun. There's like a face right there. So you also could be done with a Leo, but not necessarily. Why is this here? Haunted doll, childlike drama unknown. Yeah. There's drama, there's going to be drama around your loyalties. Where does your loyalty, where does your loyalty lie and where does other people's loyalty lie? You're going to experience drama around loyalty. I'm hearing there are people that you think are that are loyal to you, around you are not. Not everybody around you is loyal. Or if you demanded blind loyalty from people, you're not, you may not have that much longer. Yeah, creepy clown, old fears, defense, and courage. You're very defensive, or other people around you are going to be very defensive about this. But so there's candle magic. Yeah, I'm telling you, intention, power, and summoning. You're trying to summon up uh, protection, defenses here from drama, but there's going to be drama. It's like you're trying, it's either you're trying to manifest drama for someone else or you're trying to protect yourself from drama with magic. 
and you're burning yourself out with magic. But there's going to be drama around loyalty because something is imbalanced around that. Okay. Why is beauty here with the mermaid? So you can also be done with a Pisces, a Leo. There's a strong need to rest. Why is beauty here? 14 is the number of the beauty card, which breaks down to five. So that's a major change. You got a lot of change here. Why is um, beauty here for cancer? Okay. Listen. Beauty. Is that you also have dagger, clearing, cut ties, and on point. So this is like my ace of swords. So what I've said, the truth has been spoken. Something is on point here. Either, and then you have zombie unfinished business. You need to clear up something with somebody that you need to set not it's not settle a score, but you need to clear up a misunderstanding or disagreement with someone, or it's going to start affecting you, or it's already affecting you, or it's affecting someone. There needs to be some there's unfinished business. You're trying there's unfinished business. It's coming back around, or you're going back around it. Why is rest here, please, for cancer? Rest, please. Yeah, we have crystal power, focusing your energy. Rest, why are you, then you have jack-o'-lantern, secrets, hidden and unclear. So with this, you need to stop trying to, without, and then I'm going to clarify alchemy. Let me, so, hold on, let me just clarify. Why is alchemy here for cancer? Alch alchemy, okay. Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay, you have two cards of vampire. Draining. And first one says give, take, draining, lasting. Second one says vampire, sustaining your aspirations. You are trying to maintain something through magic or through manifestation in some form or fashion and it's draining the absolute shit out of you. Okay, and here you got, again, with rest, crystal power focusing your energy and jack-o'-lantern secrets hidden unclear your vote you're trying to focus your energy on revealing and or honing in on someone else's secrets or protecting your own and you're literally 100 percent draining yourself or you are trying to drain someone else and it's not working on that person instead it's happening to you yeah, we got Grim Reaper here as so I split the deck, ending and starting over, and skeleton, sketchy, incomplete, and minimal. So whatever you're doing, it's not 100% ethical. Um, or someone else isn't doing something 100% ethical. Also, you have palm reading, life, altering events, werewolf, brief phase, shift, and intense. You're about to experience a very life-altering, very intense shift as a life-altering event in your life. It's about to, something's about to shift in your life, and it's going to be very life altering for you. I'm telling you now, you need to rest. You need to put down the magic, put down the manifestations, put down the candle magic, let go whatever you're thinking about. Stop dwelling on this, whatever this person is, or the subject is, or the situation is. Let it be and rest. Because you have other things to worry about. You have other things that are coming towards you that I don't think apply to whatever this situation is that you will need your attention. Okay. There's also going to, I feel like it has a lot to do with the drama around loyalty. There's going to, someone is going to betray you and your loyalty. Someone very close to you. Someone that you are currently in contact with. I don't feel like it's a past person, but it's it's someone you are currently in contact with that's going to betray you in a very profound way. So I feel like that's very, that's going to be a big deal, and it could shift your life altering event. You know, there's something also there could be something else that comes your way that could be life altering as well. So you need to be more rested so you can properly deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Or someone around you. Doesn't even have to be you. It could be someone that you know, or I feel like if, if it is somebody else, it would be someone that you are currently in contact with, that you're speaking to, or you're with, particularly. Anything else for cancer? What's going on for cancer, real quick? 
Yeah, nine of cups reverse. You're draining. You maybe you're drinking too much or overindulging in substances or something like that. But whatever it is, your wish is not coming true about a certain situation and it's draining you. You are being drained right now. You're draining yourself. I don't feel like it's someone else. I feel like it's you draining you. And then you have six of wands in the reverse. Okay, there's not going to be a victory. Nine of swords. There's anxiety around that regarding work. Eight of pentacles here. You're not going to get a wish fulfillment with regarding something about your work here. Is there something that's not going to be victorious here? You're really stressed out about something not working out. Whether that's relationship or business avenue, it's not going to work out. As of right now. Now remember, free will, things can change. Readings are like screenshots, okay? They, only, they, they capture a moment in time. So you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces, maybe Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Leo, uh, Aries Sagittarius, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Very strong Capricorn Taurus Virgo. So let me get a potential outcome. Either you or someone that you're in contact with, whether it's romantic or platonic, but you would be in contact with this person currently. They're doing the most. Like they're overdoing it or you're overdoing it like way too much. Potential outcome, Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Reverse. You're ta someone's taking action. This can even talk about like ma magic wands or, you know, and, and someone's doing something magically out of arrogance, possibly even ignorance, possibly, or they're doing something that feed to, to feed their ego or to do something to get back at someone or, or someone, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is using the wand or they're getting the wand <laughs> with somebody else. There's could be infidelity there as well. King of Cups reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a, this person, this gentleman, this could be a man, could be a woman, are uh, very emotionally manipulative as well. Or they think you are. Um, someone is juggling you and there's gossip about you or you are juggling a situation and you are gossiping and talking shit about someone else. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra. Okay. All right. Let's look at your money real quick. What's going on for Cancer's finances and money? What's going on for money? Hopefully it looks good. Let's see. Money. You have the moon. There you are. Fleeting funds, unknown source, being guided, uh, career, moonlighting, odd jobs, and night shift part-time. So you might be picking up a part-time job because your money or finances are tight. Okay. Financial security is unclear right now. What else, please, about uh, finances for cancer, please? Ooh, finances. Okay. Yeah, face. says money skills, investor, taking risk, face value, career, self-made, fame, exposure, reputation. So Something, okay, I heard it. Some A secret's coming out about someone's reputation and they're going to have to face it head on. You're going to have to face it head on. This could be about you. This could be about someone that you are currently in contact with. This would be someone that you are currently dating and or that you are currently like friends with, that you're talking to or you're currently um, in business partnership with. There's a secret here. Those cards. Ooh. What else about cancer's finances here? Could it could affect your reputation or someone else's heart? It says emotional spending, joint finances, being supported, career counselor, guide, having a job you love. So you could be shopping because you you're emotional. You could be an emotional shopper right now, and you could be losing funds that way because of it. And then, then you turn around and try to manifest or do spell work for money, but then you go and spend it. So there's there's a need to save. I've been telling you guys this for a little while. You need to save your money. <laughs> Please save your money. If not, you're gonna you might end up regretting it. Seriously. Um. Guidance. Here we go. Guidance for Cancer, please, regarding this reading. Guidance for Cancer regarding this reading. 
and I'm going to get more information in the extended, okay? You have your imaginary friend, childhood treasures resurface. So maybe you're meeting up with some childhood friends, siblings possibly, something about that. What else, please, for cancer for guidance? You also have hedgehog love, positive, uplifting new friends. You're making new friends as well. Also, be careful of new friends because uh, just be careful. What else, please, for cancer? A loyal guardian. A magical protector is there for you. Yes, you are being protected, but they can't stop you from doing things. You have free will. You know, the spirit is not going to keep, the spirit is not going to just sit around and clean up all your messes for you. You know what I'm saying? The trick is to not get into the messes to begin with, and if you do, then to clean them up predominantly yourself. What else, please? Also, something could be happening with a dog soon. Um, take care of your animals. If they need to go to the vet, take them to the vet, okay? Wolf Moon, I will watch over you. I'm telling you, something's happening about a dog. Please take your dog, Your if you have a dog, or if, even if you have a cat, but I get strong dog here, please take them to the vet. I don't think they're feeling good. They're not feeling good. Something's going on with them. Please take them to the vet. Okay? Just, you know, just get a physical. Just get them checked out, please. All right, well, Cancer, that has been your reading. The extended will be in the description box below as well as the comment section below. Um, if you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, my email is in the description box below as well. So definitely check me out. I do offer $10 off for first-time clients who get their first reading with me, okay? All right, Cancer, well, I love you. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, I love you. Take care of yourself till next time. Bye.